Hi, it's Dave Robinson from PlantCoverCrops.com on December 2nd, 2010. We're looking at a, a test plot here in northeastern Indiana. Uh, we've observed uh, ryegrass with crimson clover and radish at two different rates of our uh, ryegrass and crimson clover. We've also observed where we've had uh, uh, peas with the um, with the uh, radish and now we're in a plot where we have uh, just straight crimson clover uh, with the uh, radishes. Um, this happens to be the groundhog radish and the AU robin crimson clover. Uh, and I tell you, this is kind of our, uh, uh, at least the way the radishes look today, this appears to be uh, the, the, product, the mixture that's giving us the most amount of nitrogen. And I'm saying that because we by far have the largest radish um, in this plot and the tallest radish not only are the tubers larger girth but also uh, they also have a lot more uh, uh, above ground growth so uh, it appears that this crimson clover with radishes uh, is giving us the most amount of nitrogen production and scavenging of the different mixes we've looked at again Dave Robinson with PlantCoverCrops.com December 2nd 2010